மாமல்லபுரம் மாமல்லா த கிரேட் விஸ்லர் த கிரேட் வாரியர் கிங் நரசிம்மவர்மா வாஸ் ஃபெமிலியர்லி கால்ட் அஸ் மாமல்லா ஓல்டன் டேஸ் மகாபலிபுரம் ஓல்டன் டேஸ் இட் வாஸ் ஆல்சோ கால்ட் அஸ் த நேம் ஆஃப் மகாபலிபுரம் மகாபலி த கிரேட் வாரியர் யுனெஸ்கோ ஒன் ஆஃப் தி பெஸ்ட் யுனெஸ்கோ சைட் இன் தமிழ்நாடு இஸ் மாமல்லபுரம் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி பெஸ்ட் So, here is UNESCO side, as per the UNESCO side, UNESCO, United Nation of Education, Scientific Cultural Organization is UNESCO. So, one of the UNESCO side, Mahamalaburam, so many best places we are visiting, Pallava period architecture. One of the major speciality of Pallava dynasty architecture is Shore Temple. The Shore Temple, one-sixth of the Shore Temple we are seeing. This was six times bigger than the present temple. So, six, the family is called as six pagodas, seven pagodas. The seven pagodas, either six, other six pagodas, it was under the sea. It was under the sea. So, remaining one is here. This carving, it was sandstone carvings. So, sandstone uh, st- temple and as well as you can see, sandstone carvings. Come. it was a wild boar it's one of the victory symbol of pallavas at the time of war between pallavas and chalukyas pallavas get defeated at first war so it was broken chalukyas have broken and here you can see this was the well the most familiar well sea show there was a sea show there when the sea level increase the water will comes up the sea level was increased now if it is low tide water level will be decrease we'll go lower down so already i told you it's a lion is a symbol of pallavas that's why he was called as familiarly called as raja simma the lion king and here you can see the statue of lion statue of lion but lion is differ from other lions i mean other other lion statues chinese style of lion during the period of 6th century itself raja raja chola sorry i mean chola pallava king they make a chinese style of lion single stone monolithic form no joints in between single stone architecture without using machinery without using machinery it's a rock cut okay rocket sculpture and you can see here this was parvati parvati control the lion and you should you can see here buffalo usually in front of the main shrine temple most of the temple in our hinduism you can see bali peed mm. bali peed means sacrificing for sacrificing golden days the people sacrificing this kind of goat and this bull like that golden days buffaloes like that before war okay but you should actually reason is sacrificing is before reaching the god we have to sacrifice our ego that's why that bali peed was kept in front of the main temple here also people are sitting over bali peed so pallava may have a plan to make a bali peed there that's why they kept the statue that uh, stone over there and here this so was opposite to shrine opposite to uh, somaskanda structure they have planned to make a bali peed
the one of the major attraction of Mamallapuram is the longest bas relief you can see. Arjuna the bus open air longest bas relief nearly more than 40 feet height more than 70 feet breadth and here you can see Arjuna already I told you the five brothers Dharma Raja Arjuna Bhim Nagul Sagadev as per the epic of Mahabharat Arjuna is center that lean body the standing pose na yeah along with this doing penance ah that's why it was familiarly called as Arjuna penance Arjuna Dabas and here left side is Shiva left side is Shiva come here come forward left side is Shiva Shiva Arjuna doing Dabas for the victory he want to make war against his enemies so you want to yeah you want to we need a weapon so for the weapon he was requesting god by the way of penance doing dabas because the penance in center it was a ganges ganges river ganges river through the ganges river snakes and reptiles have come outside but we, it was covered by the sticks but we cannot able to see that that's why and here you can see a here, aduma the only are kar paranga anga and along with Shiva, you can see some Buddha Ganas. Along with Shiva, there are Buddha Ganas. And here, right side, you can see a lot of angels. Angels, saints of followers of Lord Shiva. Followers of Lord Shiva. Left side, you can see, uh, it's a sun god. Right side, sun god. On top of the Shiva head, sun god. And right side, moon god. Moon god. And uh, you can see some humanoid uh, monkey and here say, say cat here cat some reptiles and cat cat also was interested to do dabas <laughs> while seeing the arjuna <laughs> and here uh, and he got pashupatastra pa pashupastra astra for astra pashupastra and here come say this was the balancing rock this balancing rock it was familiarly called as Krishna's butter ball. You can see the balancing rocks. Rock it was uh, at the tip. Olden days during the period of Pallavas, uh, with the help of uh, elephants, with the help of elephants, try to replace the Krishna butter ball. I mean this rock, uh, but they cannot able to move little bit. Even little bit they cannot able to move. They like to replace, but it's not possible. Even nowadays it's balancing. It's a balancing rock. <laughs>